Hi folks, today we're going to cover the one-handed scoop draw from a closed cover garment concealed carry strong side outside the waistband holster. That's my normal carry as a rule and so today we'll use two guns to demonstrate the one-handed scoop draw from a closed cover garment that being a Glock 17 and the one I have on me now which is a Glock 26. These guns have been unloaded check double check triple checked and so here's the scoop draw the scoop draw doesn't involve using the thumb to clear the cover garment a lot of instructors will teach that technique I find it too unreliable from my use as an example, using the thumb, I just missed the shirt and I'm grabbing a pile of shirt and the gun. In a defensive situation where time is of the essence, that mistake could get you injured or killed. No thank you. Again, I missed the shirt, close, but no cigar. So the scoop drawer, we incorporate four fingers instead of the thumb. As I'm walking down the street, my hands are relaxed. If I need to draw my firearm, I'm going to use these four fingers, grab the front of the shirt in front of the gun, lift it up and out of the way. The thumb takes over at the high point of the draw. Your fingers come down, scoop the gun out of the holster into a firing grip. What we get rid of is the time it takes, as some instructors suggest, to get down on the gun, get a good purchase before the we draw. Four fingers, grabs the shirt, front of the OWB holster. As I'm walking down the street, grab the shirt, lift it positively up and out of the way. The thumb takes over, the fingers let go of the shirt and scoop the gun up. We are taking away this step here to get down on the gun and then out of the holster. It's unnecessary. I've been teaching this for nine years, this scoop draw one-handed from closed and open front cover garments. And I've not even had a new shooter who's hardly ever handled a gun before, let alone drawn from, from a holster, ever lose their firearm in this draw stroke. And so it's reliable enough from everything I've seen in nine years, 10 years of training. As you can see, it's not necessary to rip and grip. I may not have this hand available to lift this shirt if that's the way I train. It's a great skill, very quick for presentation purposes. However, I may not be have this hand available to me. I may be fending off a physical attack while I draw. And this scoop drawer is not slowing my draw time from this. Yet, I only need the one hand to do it and get it out. We'll be showing this in slow motion up close. I'm going to go get the Glock right, 17 back again. On. Now we've changed guns to the Glock 17 full size, same carry position, strong side OWB, closed cover garment. Very reliable. This shirt's out of the way anytime I want it to be. And that's just a matter of using these four fingers to snag the shirt. Turn the hand, get the thumb in position to take over the shirt, staying out of the way. These fingers come down, scoop the gun out without dropping down onto the gun, which is a wasted motion. Again, we're going to show this in slow motion and up close.
So there you have it, folks. The one-handed closed cover garment scoop draw from Concealed. Very positive works every time because these fingers get the shirt out of the way. Thumb takes over. Fingers drop down, scoop the gun up into a firing position. I hope this lays to rest some of the questions people have had on the various gun boards when the scoop draw has been mentioned. Now we've got some video of it and people can get a sense of exactly how this is performed, how easy it is, how much more reliable it is than using your thumb to clear this cover garment. Again, I just barely cleared it with the thumb, but I'll always clear it with the fingers. Thumb takes over, pull the gun out. Don't drop down on the gun. Not this, then this. So, walking down the street, we run into a friend of ours and they extend their hand. From here, we bring our hand up to shake. That same stroke to reach out your hand is the same stroke we're using in the scoop draw. Reach out and shake his hand. So it's one continuous motion, up and out. Thanks for watching, folks.